are at Casa Beach in Phuket and the waves are gigantic. <laughs> I mean, you see that wave coming? That's fucking huge! Ah! I almost fell! <laughs> The waves here are a little stronger than any of the other beaches we've been at yet. That's Katie, right there, diving through a wave. Trust <clears throat> <Got> me, <laughs> getting brutalized by a wave. That actually hurt my nads <laughs> in a really fucking, really, really weird way that hurt my nads. Who would like to hear more about <laughs> my nads? <laughs> I've lost so much weight that my bathing suit barely fits, and all these waves are <coughs> exposing. Exposing me, that's pretty nice. This is all very easy for Eric. What? I'm kind of short. <laughs> these waves are taking <laughs> my ass. Okay, but quick, tell, tell me where you gotta shoot that? I gotta shoot that in this butt. Into this sphincter over here? <laughs> you can't, <laughs> you can't be all sphincter and things. You can't, can't say sphincter while you're the... shooting? <laughs> Oops. Steve Perry. Steve Perry. That's actually pretty difficult. Happy Thanksgiving. All you people get to celebrate Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> um, we are currently at a subway in Patong, one of the most annoying beaches in the world. And um, this is the only place I think you can get turkey in Thailand. There's, I, I can't think of one other place. And cheese, turkey and turkey cheese. Turkey and cheese. If they say cheese, you say yes. All right, so here's what we've got. I got the six foot cheeky, uh, six, six, <laughs> six foot. I got the six inch uh, turkey on sesame. Eric got the foot long turkey on sesame. And we got the cookies. <laughs> I got the chocolate chip, Eric got the macadamia, and I got a soda. Eric's got a water. And that, that, that's Thanksgiving. Except if I get a gigantic cake. I'm thinking about getting a gigantic cake. I'm going to have some pineapple when we're done. <laughs> that might have to become a regular Thanksgiving thing, pineapple. It's going to be weird. Thanksgiving is never complete without eating too many sweets that you never needed in the first place. So this is what we've done. We've gone to Tesco. And we've gotten us some chipmunks and some bunnies on top of some cake. We've also got milk, which we never get here because it's really expensive. And surprisingly, this jug was not expensive. So that was odd. And we're going to brush our teeth afterwards twice. <laughs> and then we're gonna wash our hair. Let's see if this is any good. It's not chocolate. It's true. It is hard. Is it any good? Let me ask you a question. Hmm. Is there any meat in it? <laughs> it doesn't have any meat in it. But their icing is different than ours. Like it's it's like um ice cream one, cake. Kind of like ice cream cake. It reminds me of welcome wedding cakes that people get where it's just a layer of icing that they put on it and then they just trim it to fit the cake. That's kind of what it tastes like. And then it also tastes like Cool Whip. It's weird. But, happy Thanksgiving. I don't think that eating an entire cake is a good idea. And we ate like oh, two, two thirds of that cake at too much Gandhi's. But we've managed to make our way to Ikea, or the Ikea of Asia, which is called Index. And we're going to wander around for a little while. And find a bed, an unoccupied bed. There are and several. Then, and then I'm going to be the big spoon and I'm going to hump you to sleep. Well, <laughs> I guess my mom knows a little bit more than she needed to now. Still Thanksgiving Day, we've managed to make our way to a beautiful spot where you can see a good chunk of Phuket and a lot of beautiful boats just chilling out there, like waiting to attack it looks like. There are islands and currently 
we're hanging out at the Big Buddha, which is gigantic. One really cool thing we got to do is they have like uh, 12 by 12 um, marble plaques that you can write on, and we got to write on those, and they're going to end up putting them at the base at some point in time. So, 10 years from now, probably going to come back. And look for ages and find it. Yep. Oh, yeah. Get you some poop. Get you some poop. Yeah. Get you some. Don't fuck your face. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we're playing at the aquarium. We're playing at the aquarium. He'll come back. Don't you worry about it. Oh, 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 boom. <laughs> this bar right here is measuring how much electricity these guys are giving off in the water. I've never seen an eel move in an exhibit before, so this is pretty nice. We are at something called Liam Prom Thep. And basically here, a lot of people come to see the sunset because you have a very good view of the west and the south. And also my bird friend here. Um, if you look down there, you can actually see that Eric's down there. He's kind of been walking around. I don't know if he got to go down to the end over there. He may have, but I was in a conversation with some Thai girls and I wasn't paying attention. While we've been in Phuket, we've been staying at a friend's mom's. Uh, hotel. It's called JJ Inn and uh, it's been pretty awesome. It's one of the best places that we've stayed in our time here in Thailand. And I'm going to take you on, got to make sure that you can cross the road. You got to look right first everyone. Right first. All right. So you get to walk down. Oh, oh, one of the best things. There are millions of poofs here. There's one of them. And they've got some fish. And they do our laundry. Well, we were gonna make this video after they'd made up the room, which they make up the room here, which is great. I mean, nobody else does that, um, except for higher end places, I guess. So they, they're giving us a little bit of class. Ooh, bananas. Um, so we've packed up all our stuff. We're leaving in a little while, but we've got a gigantic bed, two blankets, which is a blessing, um, air conditioning, which is amazing television, which Eric can tell you I've been watching a lot of, and a bathroom with a hot shower and a flush toilet. It's like the best you could possibly get in Thailand. So it's pretty amazing and um, we've been very happy staying here and now it's time to eat lunch. So when I saw that there was a boob out and you were worried, <laughs> you were worried that I had lost a footing, the first thing you did was come and check on my boob. I came over and asked you to hit and bump.